This morning, quickly, let's open our Bible to John chapter 14, verse 12 to 14. Are we all there? Let's read together one, two, three. Go. Verily, I say unto you, he that believes in me, the works that I do shall be in us. And we are all that I do shall be in you. And what's the way that I have to do? That's what I do. For I will rather be crucified in the song. If we shall have anything in my name, I will be it. Now, hear this. What grace limit is faith? If you have faith in me, I will ask. But without grace, faith will be limited. What makes our faith to be strengthened and to sustain the delivery? His grace. Romans chapter 4, verse 20. And Abraham staggered not in faith through unbelief. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He was strong, giving glory. He was strong and he was giving glory. So his faith was strengthened through faith. Now, faith is sent beyond. The faith of Abraham was essentially the faith that saw beyond. There is no way you and I can break the immediate limit except you can see beyond it. Faith means ability to see ahead and to see beyond. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 told us how Abraham was looking for a city. He was looking for a city whose foundation is the law of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, concerning Jesus, it was said that Jesus endured the cross because he could see, he could see, he could see the joy that was set ahead. If you are unable to see, you cannot break the limit. Faith of Abraham was essentially the faith that sees beyond. Faith means ability to see ahead. The immediate couldn't hold him down. What is that issue in your immediate environment that is holding your mind down? Blocking your access to praising God. That when you want to praise God, you remember the issue and you break down the day. Abraham will receive Isaac in the field of the God who will praise the Lord. So when we praise, our faith is strengthened, and then limit is broken. You want to break that limit? Have faith. And faith cannot be strengthened and sustained without praise. Romans 4 20. He started on by the promise of God. He was strong in faith. He was giving glory to God. He was giving glory to God. You are like this one, understand that that limit. And be broken. <coughs> what is that issue that you think that you cannot overcome? You need faith. In. And beyond faith is what? It is the prayer that you need to come with it. Because between the time that God has spoken to you, that you come and set you free. And the realization of what He has said, you need praise to be strengthened. Abraham did not see Isaac in the immediate. The Abraham was strong in faith. He was given glory. When doubt wants to come, you engage his praise. Doubt wants to come to your heart, engage praise. And before you know it, your faith will be sweet. Praise the Lord. You see your joyful dancing. We are not wasting time. We are sweetening our faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I'm dancing, I'm not wasting my way. When I'm praising the Lord, I am not wasting my time. I am investing into my faith. I am boosting my faith. I now know. Once my faith is boosted, my life will boost it. Tell me what you can do without faith in your heart. He said, without me, you can do nothing. And you take faith. He said, let not that man think he can receive anything from God. A doubter will receive nothing from God. That is nothing that God cannot make out of you and I. Get it clear this morning. There is nothing that God cannot make out of you and that wonderful things, glorious things. 
but we need faith to draw them. Beautiful, wonderful thing that you have had concerning this year. You are not in faith to bring it to pass. And faith will not be strengthened without the people need to go. Amen. And check it. You can't be praising God and still be and still without him God. You can't be praising God and still be doubting God. People that praise God, they never doubt God. Abraham was praising the Lord and he was shot with faith. Before you know it, Isaac came forth. Hallelujah. Father of nation indeed came to reality. What is that name that you already, that you already call you? Rich man. But yet there are no riches in your life. You want to bring it to reality. Remain strengthened in faith. Couple it with praise. And before you go in realization of what God has done. I want you to please rise this morning and praise the Lord for 30 seconds. For that issue, for faith. For faith to be strengthened again. Yes. Praise God, Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Praise God right now. For faith, for the strength of the Lord. And for the delivery of the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I'm not giving up. Lord, I will give up. Every word you spoke concerning me. Lord, I shall come to us. My faith is intact. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you praise. No more limits. Thank you, Jesus. And in him we are praying. Amen. Whatever cannot stop your praise, cannot stop your faith. Whatever that cannot stop your praise, cannot stop your faith. Keep praising God. And faith will keep strengthening your heart. We your hands to Jesus this morning. Magnifying the glorious in Thank you, Father. Bless you. Are you coming with glorious answer?